In part 6 of this ongoing series, examining the accents of the Seven Kingdoms in HBO's Game of Thrones, I thought it was high time I covered the Vale and the various idiots and pompous windbags that populate it. Based on, oh, who honestly cares anymore, Switzerland or somewhere. None of them have Swiss accents either, so they all lose. On we go. Lord Robin Arryn, the sickly mummy's boy in charge of the Vale of Arryn, is sort of Diet Joffrey in many ways. <laughs> Coddling mother. Family means everything to me. Sociopathic tendencies. <laughs> and the total inability to take a slap. He speaks with a sort of RP accent with some estuary thrown in. She's my cousin. We should help her. Sir Hugh of the Vale gives Jory short shrift when he's approached on Ned's behalf. As you can see, I'm busy. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name, sir. Sounds suitably snidey and posh, and later sounds gurgly and spluttering. Sir Vardis, the cocky, sure of himself captain of the guard that gets chucked down the moon door by Bronn, sounds like, well, your guess is as good as mine. Cornish? Irish? With all my heart, my lady. But the imp is half my size. Shameful to slaughter such a man and call it justice. No information on where the actor is from seems to be available anywhere either. This chap guarding the bloody gate gets, well, not quite the response he was expecting when he informs the Hound and Arya that Lady Psycho of the Vale has passed on. Then I offer my condolences. Lady Aaron died. Three days ago. <laughs> Southern with a twinge of what sounds like Welsh. The delightfully pompous Lord Royce has the measure of Littlefinger from the get-go and has a wonderful old-school posh accent. And she's fallen through the moon door. We were told there was a witness, a girl. His son Waymer has the honour of being the first character to die in the show. He speaks with a posh accent similar to his father. Jeez. One not steals a goat from another lot before you know it they're ripping each other to pieces. Lady Anya Wainwood, she of the Zuma haircut and old woman on a bus scowl, has a posh accent such as you might imagine a duchess having. Rob Stark is dead. Who would you have us back Lord Bailey? Robin Aaron is a sickly little boy. So Vance Corbury gets one line during Littlefinger's interrogation. Your secret is safe with us. He has a calm voice like a vicar or a Radio 4 presenter. This Knight of the Vale accompanying Littlefinger and Sansa gets one cool line before Brienne takes him out. Sounds upper middle class-ish. Guess that means you're unarmed. <laughs> Maud, the jailer of the Eyrie, is a repellent brute with the sort of cockney accent that we definitely should have heard more of in this show. Especially in scenes set in King's Landing. You got sneak talk now. <laughs> So Mandon Moore, before he was dispatched by Pod, spoke with an Irish accent despite being from the Vale. Lads caught a groom and two maids trying to sneak away with a stolen horse and some gold cups. And lastly we have Shagger, leader of the Hill Tribes, played by established character actor Mark Lewis Jones, whose accent is similar to Letho from the Witcher games, who he also voiced, but without the American twang. When you meet your gods, you tell them Shagger, son of Dolph. Of the Stone Crow sent you. Not a bad turnout from the Vale, so I'll be awarding it five slapped sweet robins out of seven. <coughs> Next time it'll be the Reach featuring Samuel Tarley. And I can't wait. Oh. Ah!